Quick tables are predefined pre-formatted tables that you can insert in a single click. And to find out what built-in tables are available, just come up here and click on the Insert tab, go to the Tables group, click on Table. Of course, you can build one from scratch, but we want to find out what pre-formatted tables are available. So there's the Quick Tables, and hey, you've got a table for the month of May. Click on it. There you go. Of course, you can modify it. If it's not for May, then how about December? And you can right-click and get the same options as we learned in our table modification training video. And when it comes to working with the table, like this table style, I have lines in between the columns that if I hover over it, you can see I've got arrows pointing in opposite directions, so I can work with it by clicking and dragging, but let me hit undo. When it comes to identifying the rows, or the borders between the rows, I have to move my eye beam up until, well, there we go, until I can see arrows pointing up and down that I can click and drag down. Let me hit undo. Instead, with one of these styles here where we can't see the cells, the rows, just the columns, you can come up here and click on the Layout tab, go to the Table group, and click on View Grid Lines, and there we go. Now we can see all the borders of all the cells within the table. Then we can go ahead and hover right over it directly and not have to guess until we hit it, and then we can go ahead and click and drag, do whatever we need to do. Let me hit Undo, go ahead and turn off the grid lines, and let me right-click on the tag, and delete table, and let's insert another table quickly and scroll down. Let's do tabular list. And then I can, well, see, I got the same issue. I can't tell where the cells are at when it comes to working with the layout. So I can go to the layout tab, turn on view grid lines, right click in the last column to insert a column to the right. Ooh, it's really skinny. Let's go ahead and hover over the right border of that last column until I can see arrows pointing in opposite directions. Click and drag. And then, of course, go ahead and give it a new name, maybe in stock. Type in your numbers, whatever you want to do to make it yours. The whole purpose of a quick table is something that looks like you can use in a flash and not have to do too much modification to it. Otherwise, you may want to start from scratch. And let's go ahead and turn off the grid and then come up here to the Design tab, because if you don't like that style, you do have the Table Styles Gallery to choose from a lot of table styles, and you can see the one that's highlighted there. Hover over it. The name of that one is Light List Accent 3. Let's go ahead and click the More button, and we're in the List Tables section, so it just has lines separating the rows. Well, except for the ones up above here, it just separates the header row from the rest of the data down below it. We can scroll up, and choose something in the grid table here. It's grid table for accent one. Click on it. Well, that looks kind of nice. Now, in addition to your table styles, you have table style options. Depending upon the style you have selected, you'll have some options available here or already selected. Like, for example, you've got the header row. And what that does is it applies special formatting for the first row of the table. Typically, the first row is where you put the labels for the respective columns. Like in this column, we have items, and what we have needed, and what we have in stock. And pretty much it's the same for all these. They apply special formatting and nothing more. Like with the total row, when you check that, it'll take the last row in the table and apply bold to it. And so what that means, or what it's trying to say, is that this is the total here. Well, no, that's scissors. So if I go ahead and check total, well, it makes a bold scissors one pair, and you can see the double line in between, well, the scissors and the cells up above. And so what you want to do instead, if you decide to use the total row, because it doesn't calculate and add up the total, it just applies, as it says in the pop-up, special formatting to the last row of the table. So uncheck it, and you can right-click in one of the cells in the last row. And let's go to Insert, Rows Below, and then we can go ahead and check the total row. And so it makes it bold, so we can go ahead and type in Total and then hit the tab key, and it doesn't calculate it for us. We have to total it ourselves. So let's go ahead and count. And it's 14. And of course, what you have in stock, you can type it there. And then next, we have our banded rows and banded columns. You can see when I hover over, it gives you a preview of it. So when you check it, what it's supposed to do is supposed to alternate the colors here from blue to white, blue to white, blue to white. So when you've got a lot of columns, and you're looking at a single row here, like for pens, your eye doesn't ski waver around when you get over to the other side and go, okay, the total number for pens in this column is something you're not choosing from the notebooks row. 
And so that way, stay in the blue. If you go up, you're in the white. That's not good. Stay in the blue. So there's banded rows. Uncheck that, and you have banded columns. So you can keep in your corresponding column, white or blue, alternates it. Of course, you can have both, but that gets a little bit too funny for me. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And then you have first column and last column. If you check first column, it makes it basically bold, all the items in the first column here. So more specifically, I would do that to offset it so people can quickly identify that these are the labels for these rows. Like we have the header row that's in a special format. Or you can also do the last column. And what that does is when you type something in here, like a number, it just makes it bold. So maybe, like if you had five or six columns, this last column, if you check it, you could say it could be like up here for the totals for all the columns here in the final column. Let me go ahead and uncheck that. ADD alert. I'm having an ADD moment. If you go ahead and you format any text, you know, make it bold, make it a colorful thing, italics, and you want to quickly clear all the formats applied to that, go ahead and select it, hold down the control key and hit the space bar, and there you go. Now, it's not just for tables. Let me click, well, down below it, and type in a name or something, and then go ahead and hold down the shift key, hit the home key, so I can select everything from the end where my cursor's at to the beginning of the line, and make it bold, red, apply all the fancy formats, and then with it still selected, Hold down the control key, hit the space bar, and it clears it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.